so our setup for the GCFI test is actually going to be pretty simple. Um, I don't have a multimeter on me right now, so I'm actually going to use a lamp and make sure that it turns on and when the switch is flipped that it turns off. So to do this, um, let's start here in this bathroom. Now you'll notice this is not traditionally a GCFI outlet. But what you might not know is that a GCFI outlet such as the one that's over here, can actually protect those regular outlets as well. Although code states, you need to mark them if that's what they do. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna hit the test button and see if the lamp turns off. Look at that, it's all protected. I reset and it's good to go. I've already tested this outlet itself, so we know it's doing what it's supposed to. All we gotta do just put a label on there and uh, we'll be good to go. Also, I should mention, I think I said GCFI earlier, it's GFCI, and uh, I apologize for that, but there's our label on there. We can move on to the next room. Okay, and onto this next one here, you'll see that it's on right now. If I hit test, it'll trip. If I reset, it'll come back on. Now I'll mention, this one's been giving me some trouble. Sometimes if you wiggle things around or plug something in wrong, it will trip. I might replace it. It could just be something's loose back there and it's catching itself and tripping. Um, so I'll, I'll have to investigate that a little further. Um, but it's not a hugely consistent problem. It is still functioning the way it should. And it's all good to go. Okay, the kitchen here is our next stop. We've actually got three outlets here that are hopefully controlled by this, otherwise I'm gonna be replacing some outlets. So let's uh, let's get back here and just test this one first. Yep, trip right away. And sometimes I like to do this just to make sure that they're both, you know, working. They get the same input, so that doesn't matter too much. Plug that in over there. And I'm gonna go push the button. Alrighty, so that one's on the protected outlet as well, as you can see. We're going to take it over across to the uh, oven side, and oh boy, do I hope this turns off. Oh no! Okay, so as you can tell, those don't seem to be protected. I'll check to see if there's something else, but code does state that all kitchen outlets need to be protected. And just to be sure with the other... The other outlet over there, also not tied. Let's, I'm gonna look and make sure there's no other outlets that they might be tied to before I get too far ahead of myself. Alrighty, we got a bathroom downstairs here. That one's good to go. Next up, I've got this one outside here. So we're gonna give that a test. Uh-oh. That's uh, no good. Okay, so that'll get replaced at some point. All right, we got another one outside here that's already actually been replaced, so I'm gonna try to hit that. Let's see if I hit the right button. Uh, actually, Unless that's the reset. Oh yeah, okay, that's the test button. This one's backwards. That one's good. Watch here. All good to go. As long as it resets. Look at that. Cool, so we've got one bad one outside. And then we've got uh, nothing in the kitchen. So we'll get that fixed as soon as possible. I'm actually going to try to fix the one in the kitchen right now. Okay, so the original plan was to add GFCI, or G, yeah, that's right, GFCI to the kitchen, but that's going to be a whole process that I don't really have time for right now. So instead, we replaced the outlet outside, and we're going to uh, go ahead and pop this on there, and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, so there's the old broken one set aside. We'll go ahead and give this a test. There you go, and a reset, and we're good to go. All better.